What's going on YouTube? Deadly Brit aka Gothic Shrimp and by request I am bringing you this video about the locations, all the locations for specific alignments and the certain tombs that you can open. So I will cut to the chase and I will get straight to it and basically I will start with Void and the first one that only a Void um, alignment person can open is and I will start with the puzzling path now that is on ruined cliffs as you can see and then you want to go to the battlements and warp and then basically you'll end up here and it is just here and to the right and that's basically where that is there's the puzzling path Okay guys, and part two is the Cave of Betrayal, and that is in Arkan Moors, and you want to warp to the Well of Gloom, well, go to the Well of Gloom and then warp, and basically you will end up here as you come out, that is where you come from, past this acid pit, whatever you want to call it. And basically, there is the Cave of Betrayal. Pretty easy. Big circle, you can't miss it. And there's the Cave of Betrayal. That's void as well. Okay guys, part three is Ghost Fang Woodlands, And you want to go to Shadow Glen. And you will find Time's Doom. So once you go there, you get to here. You can't miss this area either. And you come out and turn to the right, and here it is, straight here. Okay guys, and the last one for Void is Valley of the Dead, and you want to go to Skull Pit. I'll, uh, sorry, I'll just bring this one up. There we go. Valley of the Dead. Temple Gates, sorry, Temple Gates, not Sculpit, and it's Eternity Vault, which is, if you come to here where that chest is, and it's just here. There you go, that's all the void. Right guys, moving on to Dark, um, <clears throat> the first one is Valley of the Dead, and you want to go to Skull Pit, and once you get here, there's two doors, one, the light is on the right there, but this is the one you want here on the left, <clears throat> and this is Pain's Embrace, so there's that one. Okay, so second one for Dark is Ruined Cliffs, and you want to go to Battlements, and you're after Darkstone Mausoleum. Now, this one's pretty easy to find as well. Uh, you come here, there's three main pillars there, and you'll get those floating bitches. <laughs> so come in here, and it's literally up there and to the left. And there's Darkstone Mausoleum. <laughs> okay, so the next one is Ghost Fang Woodlands. And guys, it is Woodlands. <laughs> Everyone keeps saying it's Woodlands. It's not. It's WID anyway. So, <laughs> Ghost Fang Woodlands, and you want to go to Heart of Cull. Now, this one can be slightly tricky to find. Uh, when you go down here, follow the path all the way along, and just as you get to here, turn left. It's a little left. It can be quite hard to uh, to find sometimes, but you go down here, through this 
area and to the left. And here it is. Well of cinders. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Okay guys, and the final one for Dark is Arkan Moors. And you want to be in Gorlock. And you're looking for Shadow Rock Tomb. And this is as you come up here. And you see these houses. And it's right here. Shadow Rock Tomb. And that's the last one for Dark. Oh, and by the way, I might as well quickly say it, there's one of the laws behind that house, very sneakily hidden for anyone who might be looking for it. So yeah, <laughs> just thought I'd throw that free information in. Okay guys, and finally the light and the first one I'm going to show is you want to be well you want to be at the ruined cliffs and the battlements and you're after white rock chamber and this one's pretty easy to find it's to pretty much at the start come in here there's the chest just over there and it's straight up here to the right white rock chamber bugger off I don't want to play Okay guys, um, <clears throat> everyone should know this one by now, um, <clears throat> Ghost Fang Woodlands, and you're after Wisp Grove, which is what you can see here, and you're after Whitestone Gardens, basically the Ten Deep Dungeon, um, <clears throat> everyone should know where this is, you pass that arena there with all those, you come up here, there's an altar shrine, um, altar, whatever, and it's right here, to the right. Whitestone Gardens. Okay, this one is pretty um, <clears throat> unmissable. This is Arkan Moors, and you want to be at the Lost Marsh. Crap, sorry, I've done it again. <clears throat> I'll bring up the map for you. Okay, so Arkan Moors. Lost Marsh, pretty easy. This one is literally unmissable. Um, as soon as you warp in, you see the big statue there, and it's just to the left here. And that's Illuminated Path, that's what you want. Sorry, <laughs> Illuminated Path. And finally, last but by no means least, we are at Valley of the Dead, Sorry, yes, Valley of the Dead again, and you want to be at the Skull Pit, and I will bring this up again. Valley of the Dead, Skull Pit, and you want Crucible of Law. So we're back to here, where one of the dark was, and as I said before, there was one on the opposite side, and this is it. So this is Crucible of Law. So there you go guys, basically there are four tombs, dungeons, whatever you want to call it, per class. And I've just shown you where they all are, um, I'll write it all in the description for you, and uh, yeah, like and subscribe, you know, show your support, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I will be sure to make another video soon, cheers.